everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is joy white thank you so much for stopping by please if this is the first time you are checking on my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you all right guys so in today's class we are going to be learning how to draft an off the shoulder bust yeah how to draft an off the shoulder bust yeah so i have my pattern here in our previous class we drafted out this pattern this basic body pattern here so guys if you've not seen how we drafted out this basic body pattern kindly check on my channel and i'll drop the link in the description box so you go and check on it all right guys so in today's class we're going to be learning how to draft the off the shoulder bust yeah so the first thing we're going to do is this so for the off the shoulder it depends on how low you want it to be it could be minus four or minus six minus five it all depends on you so but for this particular tutorial i'm going to be using coming down with six inches six inches from this is the shoulder line so i'll put down my six inches here i'll put down my six inches here i will come over to the back Okay. So I will connect the lines. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be using a red marker, so we'll be able to differentiate between the basic body and this of the shoulder. So I'll be using a red marker for this particular tutorial. Okay, guys, so after doing that, the next thing we are going to do is to measure. I'm going to place my tape on this shoulder line like so and measure what I have. Or you just divide it into two like this and mark. Can you see? Like so. Then I'm going to be connecting from this shoulder slope to the bust point. So... Okay, guys, so after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is to take my overbust contouring. So in taking the overbust, I'm going to be taking, putting one inch here, one inch here, like so. One inch here, one inch there. If you're on the smaller side, you can use half inch. Then I will connect it to the bust point, like so. Okay, guys, so for the underbust tightening, I am going to come over here. This is the underbust. Can you see? I'm going to take on this part, I'll put less. So I'll be putting 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5. See the way I'm placing it on this pencil line. Can you see it? So I will mark 0 0.5. Then I will come over here and mark 1.25. Can you see it? 1.25. Then the next thing I will do is to get my curve and connect. See the way I'm connecting it? From this bus point, I'm going to be connecting it to this 0 0.5. After doing that, I will come over to the other side and place my curve this way and mark as well and connect it. Can you see it? Okay, so this is it. Then the next thing we have to do is to connect it. So I'm going to be connecting it, meeting the waistline like this. I will come over to this side. So here is what I want to do. If I connect it from here to here, I don't want that sharp point so i'm going to come out from it's optional though it's optional so i'm going to come out with let's say 0 0.25 like so and connect it so that 0 0.25 i took from here i'm going to add it to the waist 
to complete the waist measurement so this is what i'm going to do i will come over to this waist this the waist we have taken the waist measurement we have taken i'll put down the 0 0.25 then i will take it up this way just to complete the measurements to avoid shortage of these measurements we have taken so this is it okay so that is it okay guys so the next thing we have to do after doing that is to take the cleavage measurement so in taking the cleavage measurements from this minus six remember from the shoulder to this point we came down with minus with six inches that's for the off the shoulder so from this point i'll place my tape here it depends on how much you want to reveal i'm going to be taking two inches two inches like so two inches like that then i will connect it this way meeting this first that leg okay so after doing that so get the off our up the shoulder you are to take your round shoulder measurement you place your tape round your shoulder so for the round shoulder measurement i'm working with is 38 the round shoulder measurement i'm working with is 38 so for the off the shoulder i am going to be using i could use 5.5 or 5 inches depends on how off you want it so i'm going to be using 5.5 for the off the shoulder when you open it up it's 11 inches i hope you get it so now here is what we are going to do in taking the 5.5 you are going to fold this over bust like this can you see it now i am going to measure the 5.5 so now after taking the 5.5 you discover it's stopping on this on this line here this is the 5.5 that is it so the next thing i'm going to do is this if you look at it very well you discover that it's not matching there's a shortage here can you see it there's a shortage so you are going to redraw the line if you place your curve this way still folded like so so you place your curve this way and connect it back like so can you see it so when you open it up this is it so what you have to do next is to come up come up a bit just take it up and connect it like so the essence of doing this is so that when you sew there is no shortage so that is the essence of folding like this is just to get an accurate what measurement see it the both lines are blending now if you don't do this when you are sewing you discover that there is a what shortage in when you are sewing so that is that so after doing that the next thing we have to do is to redraw the words and hold remember this is where the 5.5 is so i'm going to redraw another word arm hole like so okay okay so this is it okay guys so the next thing we are going to do is to take another what another armhole for the off the shoulder so here is what we are going to do you are going to measure what you have here from here to here you divide it into two 
when you divide it i'm having 3.6 so i come over here from this minus 6 i place my tape this way this is the minus 6 line so i'm going to measure mark 3.6 like so this is 3.6 i will connect it like so can you see it so i am going to be taking a new word armhole for the up the shoulder so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to place my curve this way so this is a new armhole for this off the shoulder when we are cutting this is what we are going to cut when you are cutting this is what you are going to cut take note of it all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to come over to the what to the back so for the back here is what we are going to do remember we have taken minus six you are just going to extend this that line up the first thing you do extend this that line up that initial that line then for the back tightening i am going to be taking 0 0.5 25 sorry 0 0.25 on both sides like that then i will connect it this way come over to the other side 0 0.25 connect it this way can you see it so the next thing i'm to do remember what we took for the front for the of the shoulder was 5.5 so now here is what i'm going to do so for the back depth i am going to come down with two inches as well two inches so you are going to fold it this way let me use the marker first okay so i'm going to be folding it like so this way okay so after doing that i am going to take the 5.5 so this is the 5.5 for the back place my tape this way and mark the 5.5 this is the 5.5 okay so you connect it with your curve so i'm going to be connecting it like so So this is it when you open it up this is what it looks like i am still going to take the 3.6 i took from this minus six line to get the armhole so i'll place my tape this way and mark 3.6 Then I connect it this way. So I am going to be curving the armhole for the back. Okay, so this is it, guys. So the next thing I'm to do is to cut out so that we'll see what we have done So after 
are doing that, we are going to close the bus that this bus that I'm going to be closing it. That's why I left this here. After closing, is when I will cut that out. So I'm going to close it like so. And tape it down. Okay, guys, so I've taped it down, and if you look at this place, you discover that it's not matching up. So not to worry, you just get your your ruler and connect it up like so and connect it up like so then you cut out so i'm going to be cutting now okay guys so this is what we have our off the shoulder bustier the next thing you have to do is to place it on your fabric and cut out so here is the front you are going to when you want to cut you cut here on fold you place this is the front you place here on fold you fold your fabric and cut this is the side side front you cut two piece this is the back side back you cut two piece and this is what the center back you cut two pieces as well and don't forget to add all your necessary words seam allowance why cutting all right guys thank you so much for watching if you find this tutorial helpful kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video like this video share this video make your comments till we meet again in our next tutorial